morning to the family of God at Shekinah. And for all those that are listening to me this morning, I want to greet you in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And I pray that God's word will bless you. God's word will inspire you and most of all shift you into a new level. I want to take my reading this morning. It's found from the book of Genesis, chapter 32, reading from verse 22. Genesis 32, reading from verse 22. And he arose that night and took his two wives, his two female servants, and his eleven sons, and crossed over the fort of Jabbok. He took them, sent them over the brook, and sent over what he had. Then Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until the breaking of day. Now when he saw that he did not prevail against him, he touched his socket of his hip, and the socket of Jacob's hip was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaks. But he said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he said to him, What is your name? He said, Jacob. And he said, Your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For you have struggled with God and with men, and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked, saying, Tell me your name, I pray. And he said, Why is it that you ask about my name? And he blessed him there. So Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. Let's bow for prayer, Father. Bless every one of us that's listening to your word. Let the power of the Holy Spirit speak to us, speak to our spirits, open up our minds, open up our hearts, that we will be able to hear to what the Spirit of God is saying and revealing unto us, because we ask it in Jesus' name with much thanksgiving. Amen. I'd like to entitle my message this morning, Your Prayer Must Shift Into a New Level. Your Prayer Must Shift Into a New Level. I want to remind you of our theme for 2020. Amen. Praise His name. Isaiah 56 and verse 7. My house shall be called a house of prayer for many nations. So beloved, on the first Sunday of 2021, I want to encourage you, I want to encourage my brothers and sisters and the family of God that your prayer has no alternative but to shift into a new level. Firstly, we see that Jacob was left alone. And I want to share with you this morning four points. And I believe this four points is going to revolutionize your life and transform you so that you can shift into a new level. Point number one is spending time alone with the Lord. We see that Jacob was left all alone. Maybe you are the person that's surrounded by so many people. You have a large gathering. And you see that you are disconnected with God because you are listening to too many voices. I want to speak to you this morning that you would separate yourselves from them and you will Get alone with God so that you listen to His voice. The Word of God tells us in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6 and verse 6, But when you pray, go 
into your room. And when you have shut the door, pray to your father who is in the secret place. And your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. I know that these times of prayer when we come together as a church, when we come together as leaders, when we come together as pastors, and that is very, very good. But each individual has to have their own special time praying to your heavenly Father. Time alone with the Lord allows your heart to connect to His heart. In other words, your spirit connecting to your Father's spirit. When there is a divine connection, you see that you are able quite easily to hear from God to what He is saying and what He is revealing unto you. I like Psalm 91 and verse 1 that says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The secret place that I'm talking about this morning is a place whereby you spend time with God, time in worship, time in reading His Word, time in prayer, time in looking to Him and trusting in Him for direction. And beloved, every child of God must have a secret place which means this is between you and God not between you and your brother it is between you and an almighty God where you can come unto him and you can open up you can come to him and undress because you cannot hide anything from your loving father so beloved this morning, I want to stir you up so that your prayer life is taken from one level into another level. In other words, there needs to be a shift in the atmosphere whereby you transition, whereby you get promoted so that you can go into a new level so that your prayer life becomes a way of life, a time when you enjoy spending in the presence of an almighty and an all-powerful God. Isaiah 55 and verse 6 says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Beloved, seeking the Lord in this time that we are living in is rather imperative. Many people are seeking X, Y, and Z. They're running here, there, and everywhere. They're running to this church, that church, this man of God, this prophet, this rabbi, whoever it might be. I want to tell you this morning, seek the Lord. The Bible says in Matthew 7 and verse 7, as we all know, ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open to you. What needs to happen this morning? We need to rebuild the altar of prayer. When I say rebuild, perhaps your altar has been broken down. Perhaps your altar has been collecting dust. Perhaps you haven't been to your altar for a long period of time and you are running on empty and there's nothing in you. You feel so dried up. Am I speaking to someone today? You feel so lonely. You feel so alienated because what are you doing, sir? You're operating out of your own flesh. So this morning, this altar needs to be rebuilt so that you can go boldly before the throne room of heaven and you can call the Lord Abba Father. 
So we see that prayer gives the Holy Spirit legal rights to show us the way. Prayer will give God the right to turn our nation around. And beloved, everybody has come to attention. People are crying out to God because they need a breakthrough in the nation of this world. They need a breakthrough in the country. They need a breakthrough in the world. And that is why people are re realizing, politicians are realizing, I profile people are realizing that on their own, they cannot make it. They need God. And that is why they need to turn to God. They need to look to Him. They need to uh, trust in Him so that this prayer can change. This prayer can transform. This prayer can deliver so that the nation can be turned around and they too can look unto Him the author and the finisher of his faith and his strength. So, beloved, it is rather important that everybody spends time alone with God. I want to ask you a question this morning. How is your prayer life with your God? Do you have intimacy with him? Do you know him in all his splendor and his glory? Beloved, may your prayer life be shifted into a new level so that you too can go places and you too can touch the supernatural power of God. Point number two. We see that Jacob wrestled with God. Amen. To me, it speaks about a relationship with a true living God. We need to know the Lord on a personal basis, not knowing about God. Everybody knows about God. Even an alcoholic or a drug addict knows about God. They can even share scriptures Knowing about God is not good enough in 2021. you got to know Him on a personal basis. You will find it hard to go to the Lord and ask Him for anything if you do not have intimacy or a relationship with Him. And here we see that God Himself in the form of an angel wrestled. Jacob wrestled with God. God wrestled with Jacob. We see that in Jacob's life, Jacob had struggled all his life to prevail first with Esau and then with Laban. This morning, I want to speak to you and your spirit. Is your life a struggle? Is your walk on earth a struggle? Are you finding it Difficult to make it. I want to turn your attention and I want to call you to attention and take you back to the heart of God whereby God can shift your level into a new level whereby you have a prayer life and intimacy with a true living and a powerful God. Now, Jacob was about to re enter Canaan. He was shown that. With God, he must wrestle. Not with Esau or any other human being. Beloved, I want to tell you, as I said in my previous messages, your warfare is not against flesh and blood. Let me tell you this morning, this is a spiritual battle. The war is on. And that is why, beloved, you have no alternative but to fight 
your way through. We see that Jacob wrestled with God and he said, Lord, unless you bless me, I am not going to let you go. Beloved, your family members are going through some situations. They are going through some problems. There is someone that is sick. There is someone with the COVID. And beloved, I want to tell you, you cannot make it on your own. Yes, you cannot do this alone. You need to get to God so that God can come through for you. Come on, somebody needs to get hold of God. Somebody needs to wrestle with God. We need a miracle, sir. Hey, somebody, I said, we need a breakthrough. The manifestation of the presence and the power of God. When you have intimacy with God, you will be able to wrestle with God. When you have intimacy with Him, you'll be able to go into the inner court and call Him Abba, our Father. When you have intimacy with Him, you'll be able to touch the supernatural power of God. Can somebody get out there of their comfort zone and trust God for something special and something supernatural even in 2021. God wants to shift the church. God wants to shift his people into a new level of prayer. Yes, beloved, I'm just touching on the surface as we go through this year. We need to get deeper and deeper into prayer. We need to touch the supernatural power of God so that God can unravel our minds and he can do something special and something supernatural in our lives. Hallelujah. Point number three. I will not let you go. Jacob's persistence was soon rewarded. And he said these words, unless you bless me, unless God blesses you. Beloved, God is a good God. He wants to bless his children because he loves us so much. I want to say that Jacob finally came to his senses and he acknowledged that the blessing must come from God. I want to tell you, don't look to man for your blessing because man can let you down. When God calls you, he will bless you. When God calls you, he will take care of you. And we see these powerful words, your name will no longer be called Jacob. Maybe somebody that's listening to me, your name reveals things that are bad. Your name reveals the past. Your name reveals evil and wickedness. Your name is contaminated with the evil that's out there in the world. Maybe you that's listening to me this morning, you need a name change. God needs to change you, sir. God needs to transform you so that God can supernaturally bless you. Now that Jacob acknowledged God as his source of blessing and was about to re-enter the promised land, we see that the Lord acknowledged Jacob as his servant. And I believe this morning, as you repent before God, as you have a transformation, as you have a name change, the Lord this morning is going to acknowledge you because you are a descendant of Abraham. The Lord paid a price for you so that you can have life and you can have it more abundantly. Yes, beloved. And God changed his name from Jacob to Israel. Now, a point to note this morning and listen very carefully. The name Jacob means supplanter or deceiver. And we see that Jacob must acknowledge his weakness before he is transformed. And beloved, this morning, don't think that you are super spiritual. You are above the rest. Acknowledge your weaknesses. Change. Take a right about turn and run back to God. The name Israel can mean prince with God. In spite of his character weaknesses, God commends him for his 
prevailing attitude and we see that Jacob is a fighter beloved in 2021 we're going to come against spirits we're going to come against powers of darkness we can, we're going to come against rulers of wickedness in high places you're going to fight your way through knowing full well that the Lord is with you the battle is the Lord's and the victory is yours so Jacob called the name of the place Peniel for I have seen God face to face beloved when you have a prayer life when you are intimate with God the Lord himself will reveal himself to you in other words God will open your natural eyes to spiritual eyes so that God will reveal himself to you. God will reveal his secrets to you. God will give you a word so that you can have a word for your brothers and your sisters. God will give you a word for your country because your prayer life has shifted from one level to another level. So, beloved, in this first Sunday of 20. 21, I want to encourage you that your prayer life is stirred up with the power of God so that your lives are never ever the same again. Your lives are impacted and your lives are meaningful. Come on, you can enjoy the Lord. You can enjoy serving the Lord because the Lord says, I will neither leave you nor will I forsake you. I will be with you even until the very end of the world. So beloved, continue being faithful Continue to trust the Lord and continue to look to Him so that your life is stirred up with the power of the Holy Ghost and may God use you even in a tremendous and in a powerful way. Let us now bow for prayer. Loving God and Heavenly Father, we bow this morning in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Lord, for we sense your power. We sense your presence. We sense your anointing even in our midst. And we want to thank you for the reading of your word. We thank you, Lord, for your precious word that has spoken to us and even our spirits. And we give you glory today because it is due unto you. And we want to thank you again even in this first Sunday of 2021. You are speaking to us so that our prayer life is taken into a new life level. We thank you again that you've shown us that we need to spend time with you. We need to wrestle with God. Uh, yes, Lord, we need to get hold of you and we need to not let you go and we need to claim our blessings and we want to thank you, Lord, through all this we will be able to touch the supernatural power of God. Dear Father, I pray you'll stir up the anointing of prayer. You'll stir up the power of prayer. You'll stir every member every leader even in the house of God that everybody will pray and they will seek the face of God they will have intimacy with you and they will have a powerful relationship with you I pray Lord the gift of prayer will be stirred up in the house of God and I pray that everyone will be determined to pray and to seek the face of God so Father I pray today you'll minister unto your children and you'll meet with their every need shifting them into a new level so that your name will be exalted and glorified because we ask it in Jesus Jesus name with much praise and thanksgiving in our hearts. Amen and amen. Thank you so much. God bless every one of you.